Hey everybody, it's your old pal Frank here, and happy Thursday. So the reason for today's video, um, no real reason, it's just really nice out, and I came into a big lot of baseball cards the other day, so um, how this all went down was it started off with uh, me stopping by my local card shop and picking up a couple of um, 2018 Topps, um, 1983, I guess you could say Silver Pack or whatever, 35th Anniversary uh, Refractor cards. Uh, I have the Shohei Otani one already, as you guys may remember I showed off a few weeks back. Uh, I got it at a... Uh, at a local card sh uh, card show here in town, and at the time when I got it, I thought it was a legit uh, Otani rookie card. But uh, after looking online, I found out that it's a rookie year card and not an actual rookie card. But whatever, it's still really cool. I like the 1983 design, so um, I was looking into it, and I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll try and get the other refractors to go with it, put the set together. So. So I got three more to go with Otani. And then um, this guy came in with just a big box, like a shoe box, of random baseball cards. And it was your typical, you know, uh, guy off the street. Probably they were given to him and, uh, you know, saw that they were from like the mid to late 80s. And he was like, oh, hey, maybe I could get some money for him. Well, that didn't happen. And, um, so he, he tried to sell them to the shop and they were like, no, I, we, we, we're, we're not taking these. So me, I, I started talking to him and I was like, what do you want for the box? I, I told him, you're not going to get much for it. But I was like, what do you want for the box? And he was like, I don't know, give me 10 bucks. I was like, oh, okay, what the hell? So I separated everything and, um, there's a lot of 1989 tops in there. Um, there was a good decent stack of 87 as well and then uh, a stack of just like random other stuff so um, as for the 89 stuff I won't show every single card to you but I'll try and point out some of like the the big name players or whatever same as the 87 stuff so anyway I want to show you the re the three refractor cards I got first so here we have Carlos Correa, Manny Machado, and Clayton Kershaw. So I can put those with my Shohei Otani, and I only have like, um, I think 46 more to get, because I think there's 50 in the set, I think, I could be wrong, anyway, so. So we got those. Um, okay, let me show you the main 89 and 87 stuff first before I get into the random stack here. I'll show you the 87 stuff. Uh, you guys all know the 87 set, the wood grain background. So, yeah, there's some doubles. Got Bobby Bonilla. Uh, who else here? Motley, Jeff Russell, Dave Steib, or Steve, uh, Willie Upshot, Lloyd Mosby, that's pretty cool, uh, Blue Jays Leaders, uh, hey, R.I.P. Bill Buckner, Carlton Fisk, uh, you know, just pretty cool stuff, Larry Sheets, Bobby Valentine, Manny Lee, so... Good, good chunk of 87 here, so, I don't know, if, if I come across more 87 cards, whether it be in uh, random, you know, mystery packs or whatnot, I don't know, maybe I'll try and put the set together, so, so that's the 87 stuff, then, <laughs> when I said there was a lot of 1989 tops in that box, I wasn't kidding, there was... A lot 
1989 in that box. <laughs> so let's see here. I'll split this into two stacks. We got some all-star cards. Hey, we got Rhino, Ryan Sandberg. And we even got Dave Winfield. Shout out to Incredible CJ. Record breakers, you know, the, the usual stuff. Uh, I already have the Bash Brothers from this set, so I feel really cool about that. They're the OPG ones, not the Tops ones, but still, it's cool to have Kinseiko and Maguire out of the 89 set. Uh, let's see if we can find any big names here. Bob Nepper, uh, another Bob Nepper. There's some doubles and triples even in here. I just put them together quickly. Uh, let's see, let's see. We've got any other big names here? I'm probably passing a lot that I don't even realize. There, I got Future Star Sandy Alomar. Uh, unfortunately, there's no Randy Johnson or King Griffey Jr., although the King Griffey Jr. was in the uh, 89 Tops traded set, but whatever. Uh, Pedro Guerrero. Uh, let's see, Dennis Boyd. Hey, Wade Boggs. Okay, that's pretty good. Another Dennis Boyd. Brooke Jacoby. Dave Cohn. Kelly Gruber. Dave Stein. Uh, Jesse Barfield. And I got the other stack here. Uh, let's see, let's see, Brett Butler. Uh, hey, Eddie Murray. Okay, that's pretty cool. Hubby Brooks with the Expos. Awesome. Tim Wallach. Uh, Steve Rosenberg. Uh, Tony La Russa. Another Tony La Russa. And another Tony La Russa. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Another Brett Butler. Hey, Andy Van Slyke. Cool. Steve Shields, yeah. Bobby Meacham, that's pretty cool. So I got some some good stuff in here as well. So so since I got this much of the set already, eh, what the hell? I'll try and put these together too. Gives me something to do. All right, now the random stuff. So we got Hector Rondon or Rondon, however you pronounce it. Ken Griffey Jr. All-Star Credential Card. Bobby Bonds. Uh, Tops uh, Golden Moments. Roger Maris. And Don Larson. Probably one of my favorite uh, baseball moments ever. Don Larson throwing the perfect game in a World Series. And... Yogi Berra there, giving him probably the biggest hug of his life. <laughs> I got a Tony Gwynn, uh, 20th Century's Best card from Tops. Cal Ripken Jr. Uh, was a Skybook? Skybook Dominion highlights. I've never even heard of that that uh, set or whatever. So, just cool to have a Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, Cal Ken Griffey. Yeah, Cal Ripken Jr. card. This is pretty cool from Fleer Ultra. Eric Gagne, Montreal boy. And probably one of my favorite um, modern day Dodgers. An another favorite of mine when I was younger, Alfonso Soriano. Oh my god, I used to love watching this guy play. So good. <laughs> I got a Bowman first of Lincoln Hensman from Don Russ. We got you Darvish and Jose Batista. Got a Brayden Shipley rookie card. Got some 1980. This is 84, isn't it? Yeah, 84 tops. Probably one of my favorite baseball card designs ever. So this is uh, the Royals batting and pitching leaders. I'm here, Craig Biggio. I'm nuts about his son right now. 
Uh, Ka uh, Kevin Biggio with the Toronto Blue Jays. Oh my God. I, I can't wait for the Topps um, update set to come out because I'm going to be going so hard looking for his rookie card. Uh, so good. I, I'd love to get uh, a Vladdy rookie card. I know it's in the new uh, Series 2 set, but it's a short print. And short prints are really tough to find. It's like card number 700 in the set. Doesn't even have a number. Yada, yada, yada. So... Yeah, I'll, I'll wait a bit to get uh, Vladdy Jr.'s rookie card. <laughs> anyway, oh, we got some more 84 tops. Here's Todd Cruz, Tom Herr, and Milt May. Then we got a Bowman Chrome of Tin Lincecum. That's pretty cool. And a Bowman Chrome of Stephen Vaught. Hey, snap there, buddy. Then we got a Topps Chrome of Brian Johnson. It's his rookie card. Hey, jeez, Louise. Then we got, uh, oh, this is pretty cool. 1980 Topps. Um, this is a first, and this thing is like super sharp. So, um, and this is a big shout out to Undisputed Frost. I finally got myself a Bo Jackson card. That is so cool. Look at that. Oh my god. You know what? We're putting this in a sleeve right now. And even better, we're going to top load it. If I can get it in the top loader. <laughs> I don't want to risk this. This is really nice. That is really, really nice. I don't know what a, a 1989 Bo Jackson graded PSA goes for, but um, to me, this this is a grade grading candidate. Yep, I think I'm gonna put this aside for when I when I submit my uh, my Broder rookie. I think I'm gonna submit this. This is really, really nice. Okay, he's going over here. All right, let's let's continue, shall we? This is pretty cool. From uh, Diamond Kings 2015. Dustin Pedroia. Love my Red Sox. And we got a Cooperstown card here of Jimmy Fox. That's pretty cool. Another awesome Red Sox card. Kevin Euclid. SP Legendary Cuts. That's cool. That's a really st sturdy card. That's nice. I think I'm going to sleeve that after. This is pretty cool. 1990 Tops, Daryl Strawberry. So unfortunately, it's not his rookie card. His rookie is in the 80, 84 set, I think. So, but still, it's pretty cool to have a, a Daryl Strawberry card. Derek Jeter. I don't have any Derek Jeter cards, so it's pretty cool. Uh, Dallas Kuchel. Opening day. Nat Jones. Well, this is pretty cool. More 1989 tops. Kirk Gibson with the Dodgers. So probably my favorite uh, time during uh, Gibson's career. Uh, of course, famous for his uh, 1988 World Series home run. Doing it with two blown knees, I believe, or two blown uh, calves or whatever. He he had two, like, bad legs. <laughs> and he hit a home run. And, oh, my God. Again, another one of my favorite World Series moments. Uh, also because, you know, it, was, it happened in 88. I'm a product of 1988. So, in fact, you know what? We're going to sleeve this too. It's, it's not as in good shape as the Bo Jackson. Like if you really take a close, close look at the corners. Like there's a little nick there on the corner. And I know that that main part there, that's inside the sleeve. But 
If you look at the corner there, it's a little jacked a bit. Whereas this Bo Jackson is like pristine mint. But we're still going to put old Kirk in a top loader too. Why not? Right? Right. All right, we're almost done, folks. Uh, we got uh, Seth Smith. We got uh, another Bowman Chrome, Brandon Drury, rookie card. <laughs> Ryan McKenna, Bowman Chrome. Guy looks like a 10 year old pipsqueak. The helmet looks too big for his head. <laughs> Uh, then we got a Texas Rangers team card. I like the team cards. They're pretty cool. Uh, Homer Bailey. Uh, American League RBI leaders. Josh Donaldson, Chris Davis, and Jose Batista. Uh, we got Matt Moore. Another Texas Rangers team card. From a different year. Same... Same, you know, tops, whatever, just different year. Uh, Steve Chisek. And an L.A. Dodgers team card. And that's it. So, I just wanted to take the time and do this little video for everyone. Uh, I think I'm going to try and hunt down these team cards. I, I really I really like them. Even when, when I was originally collecting back in the day... Um, I remember collecting a lot of uh, Topps 2002. I really like the look of that set with the, the weird beigey, orangey background on their cards. And if you ever look into that set, it's weird because the Jose Canseco card, um, he's a Montreal Expo. And it's so weird seeing Canseco in a Expo's uniform. But anyway, and yeah, when I was collecting that set, like, I had every team card and whatnot. So, yeah, I, I really like the team cards. I also like the mascot cards that they've been putting out in the top set these last few years. So, I don't know. I might try and go after those as well. We'll see. So, anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give her a thumbs up. If not, give her a thumbs down. And, um, yeah, that's about it. So till next time, folks, um, keep collecting what you enjoy collecting. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.